This poor pup was so scared of people, but he still wanted to help someone in need. In an off-road parking in Washington State, people began sharing reports of a lost dog who was all alone in the woods. The pup was kiddish, but he would take food from the off-roaders who wanted to help him. Then, rumors of the lost dog reached two local lovers named Amanda and Dylan. The dog, who was later named Bear, was alone and lost in a park. When Amanda and Dylan heard about him, they immediately went to go look out for him. The first attempt, they coaxed the dog with food, but that didn't work out. Eventually, Amanda curled up on the gravel road by Bear, but with her back to him, he started to growl, but he eventually got close enough to smell her. She laid on the road like this for a while before Bear lost interest and wandered off. Amanda continued pretending to be injured and in need of help. She laid on the ground in a fetal position and started crawling backwards towards the dog. She spent the next hour inching closer and closer to Bear. When he voiced discomfort, Amanda started whimpering and yawning, which to dogs is a calming signal. Amanda knew how fragile Bear was. Rather than grab him immediately, she chose to build up trust over time. Eventually, she got close enough to lay right beside Bear. She made comfort sounds to help keep him at ease. Bear was emaciated. His bone and ribs were sticking out. But after hours of patience and understanding, Amanda and Dylan finally earned Bear's trust. For the next two hours, Amanda cuddled with Bear until he finally allowed her to slip a lead around his neck. Bear was finally safe. Thanks to these unsung heroes, Bear is on his road to recovery. That night, Amanda discovered that Bear wanted to be carried everywhere and she more than happily obliged. The two cuddled together at every chance they got. She then took him to the vet who helped him recover from his ordeal. Bear seemed used to people so Amanda and the vets guessed that once he had a home. We were so happy to say that baby Bear is getting the medical attention he desperately needed and we will be going to a rescue until we can find his family or, if they are not found after 30 days, a new forever home, Amanda wrote on Facebook. Nobody came forward to claim Bear and so once he was healthy enough, he was brought to useless Bay Sanctuary. It didn't take long before Bear was adopted, a wonderful family to give Bear his perfect forever home. Baby Bear has found his forever home with a wonderful family. A special thank you to Amanda and Dylan for getting him to safety and his amazing foster family for giving him all the love and care he needed. Have a happy life, Bear. His new family will continue to share updates on his Facebook page. The Sanctuary wrote on Facebook. It is now about six years since Bear was first rescued and he's doing great. His family created a Facebook page for the pup and they updated every month to let Bear's fans know how he's doing. He looks great and very happy. We're so glad Bear is doing so well. Please share this story with your family and friends and like this video and subscribe to iHeart Animals if you haven't already.